I am at El Santuario de Chimayo in Chimayo, New Mexico. This is perhaps the most popular Catholic pilgrimage site in the United States because of its holy dirt. The small adobe church and its surrounding complex is absolutely beautiful and picturesque because of those mountains in the background. This place is so sacred, particularly for Hispanic Catholics, for a reason, as there is a legend that led to the construction of this church. In 1810, a member of a local penitent order was performing his rites when he saw a light emanating from the hills here. So he walked over to investigate and discovered that the light was coming from beneath the ground, right where the church stands now. He began to excavate the glowing dirt and dug up a large crucifix with a black Christ on it. He left it sticking in the ground where he discovered it and went back to show his brothers. The crucifix, known as the Black Christ of the Escapulas, was immediately found to be very sacred and so they brought with them to their nearby church and placed it on the altar. However, the next day, the crucifix mysteriously vanished. They returned to the site and discovered it back in the hole where it was dug up. So they brought it back with them again, but it vanished back to its point of origin three times before the priest decided to build a chapel over the hole because it was such a stubborn relic. During this time, it was discovered that the dirt had miraculous healing powers. The chapel was constructed by the original wealthy Basque landowner of this property, Don Bernardo Abeta. Since it was becoming a popular pilgrimage site even then, he soon had asked permission from the diocese to build a larger church and commission some art for it. The small chapel was raised and this church was completed in 1816, making it over 200 years old. El Santuario is a national historic landmark. And now we're going to enter El Santuario de Chimayo. The adobe walls in here are about three feet thick in most places. The shrine has a beautiful interior. Much of this is the original Hispanic religious folk art from the 19th century. Mass is usually held in here at least daily. As this place is very old, the floors aren't exactly even, as this kid just found out. Ouch. On the side of the chapel is the room where they have a hole where you can rub yourself with the holy chimayo dirt. Over 300,000 people each year come to visit this small room to relish in its supposed healing powers. Now it's theorized, and most likely the case, that this dirt is shipped and placed in here after it's blessed. There is a lot of skepticism regarding this dirt. However, there are very powerful testimonials that it does in fact have miraculous healing qualities. Luckily, I don't have any significant ailments at the moment, but since I'm here, gotta touch the holy dirt. Just outside the sacred pit, people have placed their crutches after they've been healed by the holy dirt. There's also lots of photographs left by people who believe they were healed by this place or hope to be healed by it. This is a very fascinating pilgrimage church and experience, let alone being in a beautiful and historic adobe church. Outside is a statue of Father Casimiro Roca, the pilgrim's priest. This is the Pilgrim Monument. The placard is entirely in Spanish, and it's an interesting statue with painted turquoise jewelry on it. This place is so significant that it's often referred to as the Lourdes of America. There is another chapel on the grounds, the Santo Nino Chapel, another fantastic adobe with a belfry. The carpentry and artistic decorations are so wonderful on this one. There's also a single grave in this courtyard. I'm wondering if there are more, but if they're unmarked. Santo Nino is not quite as old as El Santuario, but it's still beautiful nonetheless and has some great Hispanic folk art. As it's named after child Jesus, this can be considered a children's chapel. There are lots of photographs in here left by people who have either been healed or hope to be healed. There are also quite a few personal articles 
which are presumably from children. It appears they have been left as offerings. Of course, lighting candles is a significant Catholic tradition, and there are plenty of opportunities to do that here. This is the Portal Santo Nino. This is a small chamber relating to the Holy Child. So lining the walls are the shoes of children who hope to be healed or have been healed. While the sentiment here is really nice, it is a little eerie not knowing the fates of all these children. Here are photographs left of ailing children with some folk statues and paintings. This appears to be a wood carved nativity scene. This is a really interesting place of hope for sick children. Behind the chapel, there is another little courtyard. These adobe walls have some really cool mosaics. That's a statue of a praying priest or pilgrim. A statue of the Virgin Mary with beautiful New Mexico mesas in the background. People hang their own mini crosses up in here. These portals hold many more photographs left by people and some great religious art. This is a display on Our Lady of Le Vang in Vietnam, which appears to be a mission in Vietnam based from this diocese. Down the hill that El Santuario sits on is an expansion of the outdoor shrines and monuments. This area serves as an outdoor prayer space. This is the Three Cultures Monument, depicting a Native American, a Hispanic vaquero, and a white cowboy all praying to the Virgin Mary. All along this chain link fence, are more crosses placed by pilgrims. This is clearly a very important location for a lot of people. Among the hundreds of thousands of pilgrims who come to this little mountainous hamlet each year, some walk from cities like Santa Fe or Albuquerque, which is 90 miles away. They will sometimes walk all the way here without wearing shoes, and some will carry full-size crosses on their backs, just like Jesus. In 1945, soldiers who survived the gruesome Bataan Death March began a tradition of walking to El Santuario to thank Santo Niña de Atocha for delivering them from evil. El Santuario does have its share of gift shops. You can buy little petri dishes and collect some holy dirt for yourself. You can also purchase some authentic chili peppers from the Vigil store across the street. Many of the businesses directly across from the complex sell food, coffee, gifts, and more. 
Architecturally, they're very in line with the rest of the place, all adobe structures. There's even lots of folk art mixed in. At the end of the road is Lolo's Lowrider Art Place Car and Bike Museum. The setting of this place is really interesting. Lots of handmade folk art, like this awesome eagle archway. There's a miniature Statue of Liberty. Directly behind Lady Liberty is another small grotto with a Statue of Mary. This one is spray painted black, perhaps as a tribute to the black Jesus found on the crucifix here. There's a horse-headed fountain, and it appears that the museum is inside a residential house. It doesn't appear to be open, and also doesn't have posted hours, so maybe another time. So that was El Santuario de Chimayo. I'd highly recommend for everyone, no matter their faith, to visit this amazing place spawned from holy dirt. Please check out my other videos, and thanks for watching.